Hey, g'day g'day, it's Temujin from SL Colonies here and today I'm showing you the new storage chest uh, available for players. Um, so what exactly is this storage chest? So uh, when you log into the game when you first wear the HUD and meter you'll see um, one of the messages you'll get on your screen is for example you have 39 of 50 slots used. So every player gets 50 slots um, to use and that's basically 50 stacks of different types of items. Uh, so for example you could have 350 units of silver ore, you could have 50 units of gold ore and so on and so on. You can have 50 types of items stacks. Okay. Now what happens when you reach uh, this 50 slots? Uh, basically you will start to go through uh, your fatigue um, stat in um, in your stats, right? In your survival stats. So once you run out of fatigue, your energy will start to decrease faster. So this will increase the rate of which your stats will uh, will be affected. Uh, one way to um, get more uh, to slow down this process is to level up with CXP and get more strength. So strength will give you more um, benefit and you won't uh, lose fatigue as fast. The best way however is to buy one of these new storage chests. Now these are really for um, I guess traders and uh, gamers that are really uh, really involved in trading and things like that because the general players aren't going to go over 50 uh, inventory slots. Um, these are handy, you can have a few of them in a row for example, you could have one specifically to store you know, food, one specifically to store ores, one specifically to store weapons and so on and so on and it comes out you just put them in here and take them out. Um, what else? So you can click on this, I'll just move this down a bit because I've got this new fancy uh, banner up the top um, and you see you have different um, different options where you can stash an item, retrieve an item from the chest, you can rename it and you can view its inventory. So we'll click on view inventory and have a look um, what's going on and see what it looks like but I haven't added anything to this so we will see that yeah so because I haven't added anything uh, you won't see anything here so one second I'll let's add an item Let's stash an item that's in my inventory. Let's see. Uh, let's get some beef tenderloin and we'll add, I have 10 of them, so let's put 10 of them in there. So that's submitted into my inventory. We'll refresh this web page and have a look at um, what we've got here. So beef tenderloin 10. Now, um, from the website itself, you can also, if you've got multiple of these storage boxes, you can go to your My Storage section and you will, it will give you a list of your storage um, boxes that you can view remotely. Um, now, this is the name of the storage chest in particular for this one. So, let's go and rename the storage chest in-game. Let's uh, set a name for this. We'll call this the uh, beef storage, right? So now it's named. We'll go back and refresh this page. And let's see what happens. Right, so now it's called the beef storage. I can view my inventory. And you'll see I've added beef tenderloin 10 to this uh, box. And as I said, you can have multiple of these storages, call them what you like to uh, sort out your inventory. Um, they come with, uh, you can store an extra 20 slots per storage and it comes out of your uh, personal storage. Um, let's take out the beef tenderloin and put it back in my own inventory. I've hit retrieve, let's try again. There we go. Beef tenderloin. And how much do I want to take out? Ten. And let's have a look. So I had ten. Let's refresh this page. And now nothing's left in my inventory. So a nice little system uh, for you guys to enjoy. I hope you guys will in 
will use it and enjoy it as it's intended to be, and I'll see you guys next time.